right, in this problem, we're going to take a look at finding the absolute max and absolute min values um, of this polynomial curve on the closed interval from 0 to 4. All right, so you have to understand that when we're looking at just that interval from 0 to 4, then we only have to look at endpoints and critical numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my function and I'm going to calculate that derivative so that I can find my critical numbers. So when I calculate the derivative, all right, 10 goes to 0, 27x becomes 27, all right, and then the x to the third becomes a 3x squared. So I'm going to take that derivative, and then I'm going to take it and set it equal to 0. So 27 minus 3x squared equals 0. When I do this, I can solve now for x. 27 is equal to a 3x squared. Divide both sides by 3. I'm going to have a 9 equals x squared. Then taking the square root of both sides, we'll have x is equal to plus or minus 3. All right, these are my critical values. All right, if I want to find um, the extrema or the absolute max and min on a closed interval, I'm going to test the critical values that fall in the interval as well as my two endpoints. And I'm going to test them into the original function. So now I'm going to make an xy table or an f of f of x table, same thing as an xy table. All right, I definitely want to put the 0 and 4 in because those are my endpoints. Okay, now critical values, I have plus or minus 3. Positive 3 falls in this interval. Negative 3 does not. Negative 3 falls outside the interval. So I do not have to test critical values that do not fall in that interval. So I only have to test 3, and that's my critical values. Okay, so take them, plug them into the original function, and see what we get. So if I take a 0 and I plug it in here, if I plug a 0 in here, a 0 in here, then I'm just going to end up with a 10. If I plug in 4, I'm going to have 10, plus 27 times 4, minus 4 to the third. That's going to give me, you'd use a calculator real quick, and you'd come up with a 54. You're going to take a 3, and you're going to take 10, plus 27 times 3, minus a 3 to the third power, that's going to give you a 64. Now, after you get done, look at these. You'll look at these y values, and you see which one's the smallest. That would be your minimum. And then which one is your maximum would be the biggest one. So from here, I can conclude that I have a absolute minimum at 0, 10. I have an absolute max at 3, 64. All right, so a pretty straightforward uh, problem here, but you do have to know that you have to test critical points and endpoints in an XY table where you are looking at that original function to be able to find these. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.